American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into the 150th episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and this is your premier video magazine to find great classic cars for sale. Now, in tonight's video, we have for you 10 unbelievable finds on cars, classic cars and cruisers that are affordable and that I think you're going to enjoy. Plus, there's one in there that I actually freestyled out looking around and found in a garage, and it's a one-owner. So stay tuned for that. In tonight's video, we're going to find out who won the Hot Wheels that we gave away in last episode. Plus, we'll have another Hot Wheels diecast car that we'll be giving away in tonight's video that we'll draw for in the upcoming video. And always, we've got the Fantasy Drag Racing at the end of this video. Stay tuned for that. Plus, we've got automotive trivia. How much of automotive history do you know? Stick around, guys. We've got a jam-packed video, and let's get started. Number one, 1967 Buick Wildcat, listed in Byron, California, for $11,750. Up for sale is this very nice red 1967 Buick Wildcat two-door hardtop that runs and is an awesome driver. With only 114,000 original miles, this Wildcat is powered by a 430 V8 engine coupled with an automatic transmission. The body is solid, rust-free, and super straight with just one dent in the rear quarter panel near the taillight. The original paint is faded in some areas but does not distract overall from the beauty of the car. The original black interior and dash pad looks amazing for its age. Everything electrical works great with the exception of the electric windows, which should be repaired by the time of this ad is published. It has good door cards and carpet with solid flooring both inside and the trunk floor area. The headliner needs some minor repair, but should be an easy fix. All glass is good, and the seller has the original floor mat to go back in it. Comes with a clean title, and the seller is asking $11,750 with a clean title, and sorry, no trades. If you see any cars in this video tonight that you would like to check out, then all you have to do is go over to this video's description, click on the word more, and when the description expands downward, scroll down until you find the car that you're looking for, click on the link underneath that car, and it will take you straight to the ad where this car is at for sale. Number two, 1957 Nash Metropolitan, listed in San Jose, California, for $5,000. $500. Up for sale is this all-original two-toned yellow and white 1957 Nash Metropolitan. Powering this Nash is a 1600cc four-cylinder motor mated to a crisp manual transmission and this car runs and drives great. A lot of new items come installed on this Nash such as new tires, new carburetor, new fuel pump, reconditioned gas tank, new wire harness, high torque starter, Smith water and oil pressure gauges, a complete tune-up, and fluid changes. For better reliability, it has been converted to a 12-volt system. All glass and chrome are in good condition, and the simple original black and white interior looks incredible. The original two-toned yellow and white paint scheme looks nice and displays well. If you are looking for a garage-kept, well-maintained, original classic car that is both highly collectible and economical, then this car is the one for you. The seller is asking $5,500 or best offer. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest chance possible to try and check out these cars that are up for sale. Moving right along with number three. 1953 Chevrolet Handyman Wagon, listed in Littleton, Colorado, for $10,000. Up for sale is a very cool silver 1953 Chevy Handyman Wagon. It is powered by a 235 engine with a three-speed manual transmission, and it runs and drives well. It has had several new upgrades, such as a Patronix ignition. It has been converted to a 12-volt system with a fuse panel in the glove box, new front disc brakes, new fuel pump, and a new electric fuel pump as a backup. It also has a new starter and rear air shocks, and the driver back window was replaced. 
The seller also has a new driver vent window that has not been installed yet. The seller has all the trim and extra parts. It comes with the rare fender skirts as well. There is some rust by the tailgate, but not much considering the age of this vehicle. The red interior is comfortable and usable. It comes with a clean title, and the seller is asking $10,000 or best offer for this rare handyman wagon. Okay, let's stop right here and do a round of automotive trivia, and let's test your knowledge of automotive history. Question number one is this. The very first Camaras that rolled off the production line came only in what color? If you know that answer, drop it in the comments for fun, and we'll check everybody's answers at the end of the video. Number four. 1952 Chevrolet Deluxe two-door sedan listed in Prattsville, Arkansas for $9,000. Up for sale with only 86,000 original miles is this red 1952 Chevrolet Deluxe two-door sedan that is powered by the all-original straight-six engine with two-speed power glide transmission. The car runs and drives good, but will need a new gas tank and a brake job to be better roadworthy. All the lights and electrical system, including the gauges, work well, including the original radio and the emergency brake. It has had a custom red velvet interior installed not too many years ago and still looks great. All chrome and glass looks great, and the body is super straight and looks incredible for its age. The paint displays well. The seller's asking only $9,000 or best offer and will take interesting trades in on it. This 52 Chevrolet is exactly like the one that I learned to drive in, except it was green. Drove it to high school my first year, two-door sedan, deluxe model. It was definitely not a girl-getter car, but I enjoyed it. Trivia question number two. This should be an easy one for you guys and gals. What type of Ford did Starsky and Hutch drive in their TV show? If you know that answer, go ahead and drop it in the comments now. And at the end, we'll check everybody's answers and see who got what right. All right, we've hit the halfway point with number five. 1947 Chevrolet Business Coupe listed in Frenchburg, Kentucky for $7,000. Up for sale is this dark red 1947 Chevrolet Business Coupe driven just over an original 100,000 miles and it is powered by the original inline six-cylinder engine and manual transmission. The car received a restoration just a few short years ago and still looks amazing. The body is very solid, very straight, and the paint displays well. The dash in the custom design tan interior is showworthy and is very comfortable. The floors in the trunk area are solid, with the trunk area receiving its own custom interior touch. With the exception of the bumpers, all chrome displays well. It has chrome 12 triangle slot mags that rounds out the customized look. The seller states this car will need some engine work to be roadworthy, and if you contact him, he can supply the details. He is asking a very low $7,000 or best offer, which is a low enough price to cover any further needed restoration cost. So guys, let me know what you think about this one. Is this a good deal or not? $7,000? Looks like majority of the work is already done. Could be a great deal. Now, if you're looking for a great gift item to find for someone who loves to watch this show, then I advise you to check out the American Rod Shop store. The link to the store can be found over in this video's description. In the store, you can find such great items as t-shirts, coffee mugs, posters, mouse pads, hoodies, and much, much more. And the sale from all these items goes back into supporting this channel. Now, number six is a rare one, and it's in really great shape. 1926 Ford Model T Coupe listed in Sharon, North Dakota for $7,000. Up for sale in incredible condition is this black, rare 1926 Ford Model T Coupe that runs and drives well. This car has been garage kept all of its life and is quite evident by the all-original condition of this beautiful T model. It has a super straight, dentless body and a paint job that displays very nicely. The original interior looks amazing as well. All glass is good and the electrical system is solid and functional. 
The rims have been restored with new red paint and new tires. Overall, this 1926 Ford Model T Coupe is a very fun classic car to own and drive for an extremely low asking price of only $7,000 or best offer. And guys, I think this was a great deal. Tell me what you think. Let's pause right here and find out who won this little Matchbox 1936 Ford Coupe that we gave away in the last video. We're going to go over to raffledash.com. We'll put our URL code into the search bar, and then we'll hit pick a comment, find out who won it. Lewis of Alaska 316. Congratulations, Lewis. You've got seven days to contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com, and I'll give you details on how to claim your totally free prize. Now, here is the Hot Wheels for tonight's giveaway that we will draw for in the next upcoming video. This Hot Wheels was issued in 2002, so it's already 22 years old. It is a looks like a Plymouth Coupe rat rod. We'll go with that. If you're interested in trying to win this Hot Wheels, all you get to do is three things. First, you need to be a subscriber. So you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe. Second, drop the words rat rod down in the comments, not the uh, live stream comments that goes away, but drop them down in the comments and you'll be entered in to win and enter as often as you would like. The more chances you enter, the more opportunities you got to win this nice little Hot Wheels. Let's check out number seven. 1955 Chevrolet four-door Bel Air listed in Tracy City, Tennessee for $8,500. Up for sale is this very cool daily driver with cool patina, a red and white two-toned 1955 Chevrolet four-door sedan. It is powered by the original 283 engine coupled to a four-speed automatic transmission that has had just over 55,000 miles put on it. It runs and it drives great. It has received a new radiator, new brakes, new hoses, new wheel cylinders, and a new master cylinder. New alternator, a new gas tank, and 15 by 6 and 15 by 8 steel wheels with hubcaps and good tires. The front floors have been patched and the body has a little rust, but not bad at all for a mostly all original car. The interior is usable and comfortable to drive daily. This will be a great classic Tri-5 Chevy to restore or customize it as you drive it. Asking a low, affordable $8,500 cash firm price or may take higher value trades. Looking for hot rods, classics, rollbacks, old trucks, Harley Street Guide 08 and up for trade. Third and final trivia question. What type of car from the 1960s did the first James Bond make famous in its movies? If you know that answer, go ahead and drop it in the comments right now. We're going to check all these, like I said, at the end of the video and find out who got what right. Coming into the home stretch with number eight. 1947 Ford Super Deluxe Sedan listed in Wildwood, Georgia for $8,500. Up for sale is a nice black 1947 Ford Super Deluxe Sedan with an original 34,320 miles on it that the seller takes out and drives on a near daily basis. It is powered by the original flathead six-cylinder engine and automatic transmission. A lot of items have been replaced, such as changing it over to a 12-volt system, a new gas tank, a new carburetor, new radiator, new brake lines, new master cylinder, new air shocks for the rear, and custom rims with new tires. The seller still has the original wheels with center caps and the original radiator to go with it. The bumpers are a little pitted, but the rest of the chrome looks nice. The paint is glossy and the glass is all good. The interior is solid, complete, and usable, but will need restoration if so desired. Overall, a very nice custom classic daily driver that will be easy to restore with a low enough asking price to allow for that restoration cost. Asking $8,500 or best offer. And guys, this is one of my favorite Ford body styles of all time from that era. And guys and gals, if you don't see your dream car in this video, be sure to check out some of my other posted videos like this one we just posted a few days ago. There's still a lot of great cars in these videos for sale, and who knows, you just might find the dream car in one of those. 
Number nine, 1968 Ford Fairlane 500, listed in Amelia, Ohio, for $7,995. Up for sale is this yellow 1968 Fairlane 500 two-door hardtop with an original 150,000 miles that starts right up and runs and drives great. It is powered by a smooth-running 302 V8 with an automatic transmission that will take you anywhere you will want to go. This car makes a great project car or a daily driver that you can drive and restore as you go. The body is solid with great floor pans and trunk area, but does have some dents on the passenger side door. The black seat covers looks good, but the door cards need to be finished on out. This car has received a new dual exhaust system, a new alternator, and many more new components. Chrome Keystone mags really add a cool custom look to this Fairlane. If you are into Ford Fairlane 500s that you can drive and restore, then this cool classic is for you. The seller is asking a low $7,995 or best offer and will consider classic car type trade-ins only. Comes with a clean title. Hey, and if you will, at the end of the video tonight, drop in the comments what you considered to be your favorite car showcased in tonight's video and why. I always love reading everybody's comments. They're a lot of fun, and I believe everyone else loves reading them as well. We've made it to number 10, and I appreciate all you guys and gals sticking in there with me here till the end. But don't go away. Right after number 10 is showcased, I've got fantasy drag racing coming up and the answers to the trivia questions. Plus, I'm announcing a new channel that I've started. Hang around for that. But right now, let's get into number 10. And this was actually a car that I found in a garage when I was out on some errands. And it is a one owner. Up for sale is this 1974 Chevrolet Camaro located in Pell City, Alabama for $8,500 firm. That car there, $44,000. Uh, yeah, I was looking at it, man. He, but he bought it new. Wow. It was, uh, it was his car new? This is his granddad's car. Oh, I got you. Well, on first date, he's wiping. <laughs> yeah. The vinyl roof looks nice. I mean, look at the inside of this thing. Yeah, I mean. Can you crank it up? Can you crank it up? I want to, yeah. I mean, it sounds amazing. All the gear rings, all the center caps, all that's in there. Hmm. Up for sale is this one family-owned red 1974 Chevrolet Camaro that is up for sale by the son of the original owner and it still runs and drives great. It has an original 44,000 miles on it and it looks amazing even down to the half vinyl roof that looks fresh as the day it came off the line. This car has been garage kept all of its life and it has been well maintained. The red paint job will buff out glossy and still displays nicely. The body is super straight with no rust or dents. The original black interior looks amazing for its age. All glass is good and the electrical system works great. The seller has the original wheel rings and center caps to go back on it. I don't think this car will last long at this price. Asking $8,500 for this one owner beauty. All right, I'm glad you decided to stick around to check out the Fantasy Drag Racing segment for tonight where I pitch six subscribers in three matchup races to find out who wins their drag race. Now let's go ahead and check out the driver lineup for tonight's races. In race one, you've got David Aguilar, 3193, up against Chaos 662. In the second race, we've got NATO 7.62 MM4 going up against Michael Saxto 8064. 
And in the third and final race, we got Mr. Peabody, 1961, going up against User TV5, UE5NR6M. So, everybody, let's go ahead and check out the first race and find out who is the winner of this one. On the outside lane in that 1941 Willys pickup, you've got David Aguilar, 3193. On the inside lane, you got Chaos 662 driving that 51 Anglia. And the winner on that is David Aguilar, 5.34 seconds, 138.16 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and review this in slow motion and find out exactly what happened to that Chaos 662 and that Anglia. Right here you see him lose almost control or either downshifted, lost a lot of power right there for a second, nearly hitting that wall. Here comes David fastly approaching in that 41 Willys pickup. And they're almost neck and neck right at the finish line. But David makes it over there for the win at 5.34 seconds and 138.16 miles per hour. And drivers for the second race, go ahead and bring your cars into the pit and let's check out this race. On the inside lane, you got Michael Saxto, 8064, driving that Willie's Coupe. And on the outside lane in that 56 Pontiac, you got NATO Z.62MM4. Michael Saxto is the winner at 9.42 seconds and 141.75 miles per hour. Now let's check out the review. Let's check out the review. You've got Michael getting off the line there about a fraction of a second before NATO did. Uh, NATO pops about a three-foot wheelie there, which I think probably helped him to lose some traction on the initial start. But either way, Michael got way ahead in that coupe and pulled off the win at 9.42 seconds and 141.75 miles per hour. Okay, let's check out race three. Guys, bring your cars into the pits and heat up your tires. Inside lane, you got user TV5U driving that 56 Chevy station wagon. And the far lane in that Willie's Coupe is Mr. Peabody, 1961. User TV5UE is the winner at 10.89 seconds and 122.68 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and review the race in slow motion. User TV5U in the 56 Chevy wagon was given a 2.5 second handicapped over the coupe as it was the faster car in the 
pre-trials, but he speeds right on up and catches him right at end where it's neck and neck coming across the finish line. But he takes the win at 10.89 seconds, 122.68 miles per hour. Okay, here are your winners for the race. So let's give them all three of them a good hand. All right, here are the trivia answers. Let's check and see how many that each one of you guys got. Number one, the first Camaros rolling off the assembly line back then were black. Answer number two, Grand Torino was the car that Starsky and Hutch drove in their TV series. And number three, the car that James Bond made famous in the 60s, his favorite car to drive was the Aston Martin. How many of those did you get right? I hope you got them all. And I wanted to announce and let everyone know that I have also launched a new channel called Legendary List. If you get an opportunity, go over and check it out. I've already posted one video, but it's going to be the top 10 list each week of different things that will keep you educated, informed, intrigued, and entertained. It'll be any type of video of top 10 list. could be cars. It might be vacation spots. It might be travel. It could be something political. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun. That is Legendary List. Go over, check it out, and subscribe. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, everybody, that wraps up another great video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. May God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys and gals in the next video.